decided that every now and then I should talk about a device that I have something that I've been using for some time and I'm still very happy with it a device that I can literally call it a great device and I want to share with you the features that this device has that could qualify it to be a great device so as you've already seen I've been using this Asus wireless router for four years now that's a long time and the interesting thing is that I'm still very happy with it and I haven't felt that I should upgrade to a newer model yet and with the speed that technology changes these days that's pretty amazing so here I try to summarize the reasons that I think could contribute in making this device great a device that I believe not only meets the requirements of an average home internet user, but also goes even further. When I replaced my Linksys E1550 with this Asus wireless router, I could immediately see a major improvement in the range. And this is a matter that is important to almost everybody. We just hate it when there is no Wi-Fi signal in some parts of the house. I even installed one of these for a small business back in 2014. So there was an office, a store and a warehouse. The wireless router was installed here and was supposed to provide the wireless network for the office and the store area. So basically the warehouse didn't even need to have a wireless network. But to my surprise I was still getting an acceptable signal when I was in this area. This device is by default a wireless router, but you can change its operation mode and use it not only as a wireless router, but also as an access point, a repeater, or a wireless bridge. Most of the wireless routers don't let you change their operation mode, especially if you want to use them as a repeater or a wireless bridge. Then you will have to install a third party firmware such as DDWRT or Tomato. And the fact that this Asus wireless router allows you to change its operation mode makes it a very practical device. I've been actually using mine as a repeater for the past couple of months now and it's been working just great. This is actually one of my favorite features of this wireless router. You can use it not only as a VPN client to connect to other VPN servers but also as a VPN server. As a server, it can be either PPTP or OpenVPN. And I definitely prefer OpenVPN because it is much more secure than PPTP. You can run an OpenVPN server on third party firmware such as DDWRT and Tomato, but it is not gonna be as straightforward as here. Here, it only takes you a couple of minutes to create your own OpenVPN server. The wireless router has two USB ports, one USB 2 and one USB 3. These ports can be used in different ways. For example, you can connect a hard disk drive and share your files through the internet, or use it as a media server. You can also connect a USB printer and share the printer on your network. You can even connect a 3G or 4G wireless dongle and use it as a USB modem. You can set it up as a time machine for Mac OS devices. Or use it as a download master to download directly to a USB drive. 
The firmware is called ASUS WRT and is basically the reason to have all these great features available. It has a very user friendly interface which is very easy to work with. What I really like about it is that ASUS constantly sends firmware updates to fix any possible issues and once in a while add new features. In fact as I was making this video I realized in my last firmware update a whole new feature called AMesh was added to the device. Basically, if you have more than one ASUS wireless router that supports AMesh, they can connect to each other to form a whole Wi-Fi network. It is also possible to install third-party firmware on this wireless router such as ASUS WRT Merlin, Tomato, and DDWRT. And of course, last but not least is the hardware. It has a powerful dual core 1 GHz CPU and 256 megabytes of RAM to handle all those features we talked about. There are 4 LAN ports and 1 WAN port and all of them are gigabit Ethernet ports. The wireless standard is 802.11ac with a maximum theoretical throughput of 1900 megabit per second. So guys, this was my experience with this device and I kind of felt like that I should talk about it and hope to see more great devices like this in the future. I can honestly feel whoever built this device did really care about the customers. They built a powerful device with many great and practical features and this is what customers are looking for. So now the question is what is your idea? If you own one of these, did you have the same experience or not? Or maybe you had a similar experience with another device. Let me know what you think in the comment section right down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.